Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Um, I am putting in front of you here a display of a translation of the text, Arabic text, on page 25. Now, we need to analyze this together so that we see how to move from Arabic to English and back again, English to Arabic. Um, my name is Ismi in Arabic when you have a noun such as Ismun, a name, to attribute it to yourself as a speaker, you add Kesra at the end and lengthening Ya becomes Ismi. That becomes now Ismi. For instance, this is the starting point. Is Ism. So we have Ism, that's mean a name. To make it my name, what you need to do is uh, put Kesra underneath the last letter of that now, then extend it with lengthening year. It's me, my name is. The is is embedded within that structure. Um, my name is Hakim, it's me Hakim. And, and is wa in Arabic, that's wa. And, and in Arabic you do not write wa separately from the following, from the next uh, uh, noun or whatever it may be. So it's next to it. You don't separate it unlike English, which is write it separately. But in Arabic, wa, and then, and this is wa hadha. Wa hadha. So we have wa hadha, and this is, and hadha, it is a masculine version of this is. Wa hadha, and this is my house. So my house is bayti. Bay Again, it starts from bait, becomes bay. So we are putting kesra e, the last letter, and then lengthen it with the lengthening ya. Wahada bayti, and this is my house. And there is no gender when you say something is my. A male and female will say it the same way. It's me, my name is, followed by the name. Wahada Beiti, and this is my house. It is a large house. It is here because we are referring to something which is a masculine noun. So we, we say Hua. So Hua meaning it is. It can be used as well for he is. But in this case, we are referring to a house. Hua, Wahada Beiti, Hua, it is. A large house. Bayton Kabirun. So Bay Bayton Kabirun. Kabirun. Bayton Kabirun. So we have Bayton. Perhaps I write it here for you so you don't get confused with the um, uh, bow. What? Hua Bayton Kabirun. So put in Kabirun. Right. Ismi, my name is Hakim. Let's write Hakim as well here. This is Hakim. 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 Wahada Bayti. And this is my house. Full stop. Hua Baytun Kabirun. It is a large house. You see that in English we say a large, starting with the adjective description. But in Arabic it's other way around. You name what you like to describe first and then you describe it. So Hua Baytun, a house, Kabirun, big. So in English you say it is a large house. So that's the first line for you. My name is Hakim and this is my house. It is a large house. Ismi Hakim Wahada Bayti. 
هو بيت كبير. So you can see how the 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 the, the Arabic is organized now and is um, um, making sense. Don't forget, it's not English; it's Arabic. So our target is Arabic. So Ismi Hakim wa hada bayti huwa baytun kabir. Let's look at the second sentence. My house is situated. So we know how to say my house. This is Beiti. Right. So we name the house first. We say Beiti. Then we need to find the word for situated. Um, so we say Beiti. Beiti. My house is situated. Waqi'un. Waqi'un. Bayti waqi'un. Now, my house is situated. Is is, a, is built in there. Uh, situated waqi'un. Because bait is a masculine noun. The description also is masculine. No ta marbuta. As, a, as we learned before, when you see a ta marbuta, which is this ending, or this ending, that is called ta marbuta. You can safely say that particular word or a noun or adjective is feminine. But um, the lack of it here, there's no ta marbuta. Yet we can assume 99.9% to say, right, this is a masculine. So, beiti wa ka'un, my house is situated. And then in East London, what's in? In is fi. Beiti waqi'un fi. Then we learn the East. East is shark. So fi, fi, shark. That's East. Fi shark and then London. London. Beiti waqi'un fi shark London. My house is situated in East London. Beiti waqi'un fi shark London. Very far. Ba'idun. Word of far. Ba'idun. Uh, Ba'idun. ba Baidun. Baidun far from. Baidun an. Baidun an. Markas al Thakafi al Islami. So you have my house again to remind you is on page 25. Ismi Hakim wa hadha bayti. وهو بيت كبير بيتي واقع في شرق لندن وبعيد جدا very far وبعيد جدا عن المركز الثقافي الإسلامي so let's write the um, جدا here في شرق لندن then we have بعيد بعيد جدا بعيد جدا عن ال عن المركز مركز is the center عن المركز عن المركز الثقافي الإسلامي المركز الثقافي عن المركز الثقافي Islami. Now, for your we'll stop there. So, the whole thing reads like this My house is situated Beiti Waqi'un Fi Shark London, East Shark London, very far, very east, Jiddan. Ba'idun, that's far. Ba'idun Jiddan. عن المركز الإسلامي 
again the adjective you can see al markaz that's the center noun thaqafi that is adjective which is your five islamic culture thaqafi culture then al islami al islami and that is your islamic let's move swiftly now to the next uh, sentence my name is adam that's become familiar to you now you can just say it's me adam and wa this is wahada my house baiti so let's see whether you can recall what is have done before so my name is Adam. It's me, Adam. Wa, and this is Hatha, my house, Baiti. It is because it's masculine now. It's a huwa. It is huwa. A small house. Here we say a large house. S large is kabir. Small. Sogir. Again, that will be masculine. Sogirun. So we have Sogirun. Kabirun is large or big. Kabirun. So Kabirun, large or big. Sogirun, small or little. It is a small house. Hua Baitun Sogirun. My house, Baiti, situated, was situated again. Wakeun in West London. Here we have East. That's Shark. Shark. West is Gurb. Rain. This is your Shark. Is your east shark east shark west gharb rain ra sukun and then ba gharb London so we have shark east west gharb gharb London very near here we have very far. Far is Baid. Baidun. Masculine. So we have Baid. Baidun. Near is Qaribun. Qarib. Qaribun. That means near. So very near Qaribun Jiddan to the Islamic Cultural Center Ila al Markaz al Thaqafi al Islami Ismi Adam wa hadha bayti huwa baytun saghir bayti waqi'un fi gharb London قريب جدا من المركز الثقافي الإسلامي. Now you would notice even that I said here بعيد عن far moving far away far away and I said قريب من near to uh, near to the uh, المركز الثقافي الإسلامي. Next one. Here, my name is Khadija. It is uh, Khadija is a female name. Whereas Adam is male, and Hakim is male. My name is Khadija. It's me Khadija. You can see now I'm saying the same thing, even though Khadija is speaking, is an uh, is a, a female. It's me Khadija. Wa. هذا بيتي 
and this is my house. Again, the same thing just as Adam said, this is my house, Hatha Beiti. And Hakim said the same thing, Hatha Beiti. So, the male say Ismi and Hatha Beiti. Female saying the same thing, Ismi Khadija wa Hatha Beiti. It is a modern, spacious house. So we have already a couple of uh, adjectives, large and small. Now we have modern, spacious house. Modern is hadith. Uh, we have hadith and muttasa. So uh, that next one is wahada baytun. So we say baytun hadithun muttasa'un. Uh, hadith as an adjective for the house is modern and then muttasa'un that means spacious muttasa'un because they're both de describing a house is masculine it is a modern spacious house who are baytun hadithun my house is situated again the same thing Beiti in North London. We have Sharq, which is East, Gherb, West. Now we have now North, North London, and that is Shamal, the Shamali London. So let's just write Shamal here for you. Uh, Shamal, London. So we have Sharq. Sharq East. Gharb West. Shamal. Shamal. That's your North. North London. It is a modern spacious house. My house is situated Beiti Wakeon in North London. Fi Shamal London. In front of my house, front mean Amam. And Amam Beiti. In front of uh, uh, Amam Beiti Shajaratun. Amam. Let's write Amam here. Amam. So Amam Beiti. In front of my house is a tall tree. You start with the tree, shajaraton, and then you describe it. Here is a tall tree. Uh, in the book itself, they uh, use kebira. Sajaratun, kebiratun, wahadiqatun, jamila. So tall, if we say shajaratun, tawilatun, it will be. So we say, amama beti, shajaratun. Uh, shajaratun as a tree shajaratun shajaratun and then you describe it because it's feminine as a feminine word now the adjective also must be the same nature of the same nature shajaratun you say tawilatun 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 here, this is a, a, a feminine word, then adjective also must be feminine as well. Hence, you have this tamarbuta at the end as a sign that it's a feminine, recognizing this male, uh, female, and the description also is feminine as well. Shajaratun tawilatun. If this is huge and large, it will be kebiratun. So let's write kebiratun here. Ka, uh, I'm just I'm going to delete this tawila and put kebiratun here. So kebiratun, kebiratun. That's mean large or big. Before we say baitun kebirun because baitun is male. We say kebirun, but here shajaratun. We say kabiratun, uh, feminine, feminine, uh, large tree. And a beautiful garden, beautiful is 
جميل masculine وجميلة for feminine because garden which is حديقة is feminine so I'm going to write حديقة here so we describe it as being beautiful so حديقة 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 that's a garden describe it as being beautiful جميلة 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 beautiful garden so my name is خديجة اسمي خديجة and this is my house وهذا بيتي it is a modern spacious house هو بيت حديث ومتسع my house is situated بيتي واقع in North London في شمال لندن in front of my house أمام بيتي شجرة tree طويلة tall أو شجرة كبيرة big tree and where a beautiful garden وحديقة as a garden جميلة the last section the last section let's just remove this one first and then we look at the last section my name is Hanan Hanan is female name Hanan so we have two male Hakim and Adam two female we have Khadija and Hanan Ismi Hanan and were this is my house وهذا بيتي it is an old spacious هو referring to the house بيت an old ah old mean قديم so let's write old and this is قديم قديم can you remember what's uh, new we had it many times before new is Come on, remind me. New in Arabic. Come on, shout it out. Right. Qadimun. Jadidun is new. Jadidun. So Qadimun, Jadidun. It is an old spacious. Can you remember we used spacious here before? And that's Muttasi'un. Muttasi'un. It is an old spacious house. Wabaytun. Qadimun. Wamuttasi'un. My house is situated again, you know that. Beiti Wakirun in South London. Ah, South is Janub. So we have uh, Shark before Shark Gharb, and we have Shamal. And the last one mentioned, can you remember? Janoub. So we have uh, now Janoub, Beiti fi Janoub, London. Okay, so we have your Janoub, Janoub, London. Yeah, that's your direction for you. Shark, Gharb, Shamal, Janoub, Shark, Gharb, Shamal, Janoub. وأين تسكن؟ Where are you? Where's your house situated? Uh, you can say بيتي واقع في جنوب uh, القاهرة في جنوب نيويورك في جنوب uh, باريس wherever it may be. Now, so شرق غرب شمال جنوب. Please learn that for me. شرق is east. Uh huh. West, Gharb, Sharp, Gharb. What about North? Sh, 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 Shamal, Shamal, and South, Janoub. Well done. That's that's what I would like to see. Yeah. Okay. So behind my house. Ah, خلف بيتي. We have أمام, which is in front of something. So أمام, 
أمام in front then خلف خل خلف خلف بيتي we have أمام here in front of my house أمام بيتي but here behind my house خلف بيتي is a small garden garden we have it here which is حديقة which we describe as being uh, beautiful we can say ah, garden is small which is صغير but cause garden garden they say is what is uh, feminine so حديقة 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 garden garden here is uh, feminine so any description of that particular word has to be also be feminine so حديقة صغيرة حديقة صغيرة صغيرة filled with flowers and plants مكتظة that's me full of مكتظة so we're going to write that one as well مكتظة حديقة feminine write it again حديقة حديقة مكتظة مكت السكون مكتظة ظ مكتظة filled with that means full of filled with flowers زهور ونبات and that's a plant right let's write the زهور و one about for you. So, حديقة مكتظة بزهور ونبات. So, ب بزهور ونبات. بزهور ونبات. Let's put the vowel here for you. ونبات. That's the whole analysis. This section, please go to page 25. You will see the Arabic text there, and this is the English equivalent. Look at that analysis for me, and on top of that page, there are a number of uh, vocabulary for you. I want you to please, can you learn the vocab for me so that uh, we have enough uh, words to uh, take the 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 lesson forward inshallah so when i come back um, uh, to post uh, lesson um, 19 because this is just finished now lesson 18 so you have enough work up to do the exercises uh, on page 26 27 um that's those exercises very important can you please do that for me uh, digest what you have just taught you now uh, for page 25 then go to page 26 you will see exercise 23 uh, quite a bit of uh, exercise there one section is from Arabic to English and the other way around so page 26 and page 27 please please go on I'm sure you can do that uh, we meet again uh, um, you know, next lesson inshallah God willing well done you are doing great مع ألف سلامة في أمان الله